Hey, my name is Andrew, and this is my stargazing app review video of Night Sky X. If you're new to stargazing, you might find that there are many apps available. I picked three apps based on their reviews and ratings. Out of these three, I realized I use Night Sky X the most. In this review, I'm going to go over the features that had the most impact for me. So to start it off, I think stargazing conditions are one of the most important things to look out for. This app gives you an overview of the conditions for the day. Here it shows you the daily conditions by the hour. And by scrolling down, we can see the stargazing conditions for the week. This helped me as a beginner because I used to randomly go outside and check if it wasn't cloudy. Now I can plan days in advance or know what time is best to stargaze. Also, the sidebar is on the top left if you're on a tablet, or on the bottom if you're on a phone. I use this a lot to match the size of the constellations in the app with the night sky. You can zoom in or out with two fingers pitching the screen. You can pinch outward to see more detail. One of my favorite ways to use this app is to first take a picture of the sky with either a phone or camera. Once you see the stars in your photo, you can kind of see the constellations stand out. If you're standing in the same spot, you can screenshot the constellation in Night Sky X. I like to do this so that I can compare them side by side or overlay them to match. The app I used to take this photo on my phone is called Slow Shutter. Night Sky X also has an astrophotography camera in its sidebar. You can use this and tune the settings such as the ISO to be able to take photos at night. The constellation icons in this app are beautiful, but I like how this app lets you control them. Here, I'll show you how to edit their timers or turn them off. By going into the settings in the sidebar, then going into preferences, we can scroll down till we find the timers. The first timer is for the icons, and the second timer is for the lines. By raising these timers, they'll stay up longer if we need them to. Or, you can turn the timers off to leave the icons and lines up permanently. Here, I took away the icons but left the lines up so that I have an easier time stargazing. But it's what you like or prefer that works best. When viewing stars with the app, you can pinch outward for more detail and double tap on a star to see its 3D model. You can zoom out to escape and tap on a star to view the information symbol. Tapping this symbol will show you a sidebar filled with information. By scrolling down, you can read and learn about the star's background behind its name, its constellation, other associated stars, and their spectral types. If you are a student and have to investigate stars, you can look here to learn about their apparent magnitudes, their age, surface temperature, and any impact they've had in history and culture. By tapping more information on the bottom, the app forwards you to the Wikipedia page where you can learn more. The sidebar of this app contains extra features that can help you learn more and stay up to date. It offers current news related to space which you may find interesting. This can also help you find science articles if you are a student. There is an events tab to keep you engaged with current and upcoming sightings. They have a tool called Sky Tags that allow you to bookmark your favorite stars or objects so that you can keep track of them. This tags an object in the app with a visual marker for easy reference. You can also share these sky tags with friends. 
The sidebar also has a tab called Planetarium Visits that use your location to find the planetariums closest to you. Tapping these locations will forward you to their webpage with contact information and hours of operation. When using this app, you'll often be shown the premium option. It costs $4.99 per month or $29.99 per year. Expanding the list on this page will show you all of the premium features. For example, on this page you can see that it allows you to apply a 10 times zoom as well as have unlimited sky tags. One thing I would really like is for the company to provide a video that shows and previews all of these premium features. It would help to get a better idea of them and learn how these can enrich our stargazing. There seems to be a good amount of tools locked in the sidebar with no way of seeing how much it will improve our experience. I'm reviewing this app as a student and based on the free version. The score I'm giving to Night Sky X is a 5 out of 5. It helps me identify stars fast and lets me know what the best time is to go stargazing and it provides me with the information I need to do my homework. I've also just started astrophotography as a beginner, and this is the app I rely on. Here are some of my first photographs and how I used Night Sky X to verify the constellations.